Number 1. Scene Transfer We're going to blend the image of this child into this beach scene. Go to your web browser, and open the website, krea.ai slash home. Scroll down a bit and select the enhancer. You can either log in using your Google account or sign up with your email. You will see a screen like this. Upload the main image you want to apply the scene transfer to. You'll see two sections, upscaling and scene transfer. In the upscaling section, for the best result in terms of upscaling, choose the 8 times option. Now in the scene transfer section, hit the activate button. Then, you need to upload the image you want to blend with the main image here. Now here you can also write a prompt, for the image that's going to be generated. The light source in our main image is coming from the right, so I'll type in the prompt section, light from the right. Leave the strength value at the default for now. Let's hit the enhance button, and see the result. The shadows and highlights are completely newly generated and look good, but the water's waves look a bit fake. Let's increase the strength a bit, and click on enhance again. As you can see, the waves look much better than in the first result. Let's click on the download button to save the photo to the computer. Let's place it on the original photo. Now we have to fix some issues here. One is the face of the child, which is completely from a different race. Similarly, the skin tone of the body also needs to be changed. First, let's name the new layer. I'll hit the mask button and then remove the face using a soft round brush. Now that we've masked the face, let's go to the properties and lower the mask density slightly. This brings back some of the lighting from the top layer, but not the details. On the original photo, we'll create a curves adjustment layer and reduce the shadows and mid-tones. Then, we'll add a hue saturation layer, and use the picker tool, to select the skin tone of the child. We'll adjust the hue slightly, to match the skin tone of the bottom layer, since the top image was taken outdoors in natural sunlight. Double click on the curves adjustment layer to open the blending options. Separate the bottom sliders on the right by holding the alt or option key. This will remove the highlights underneath the adjustment, from the adjustment itself. Now we want to match the skin tone of the body with the head. So, click on the generated photo and select the child using the object selection tool. Create a hue saturation adjustment layer, use the picker tool to select the skin tone, then adjust the hue to match as closely as possible. Also increase the saturation slightly. Hold the control or command button and click on the generated photos layer mask, to activate the head selection. Since the selection is inverted, hold control and shift then press I, to invert it. Now, simply take the brush and use black to paint over the areas of the head and remove them. Now again, by using the same shortcut, activate the hue saturation selection, and create a new curves adjustment layer. Increase the highlights to make the skin tone slightly brighter. Let's group the layers related to the generated photo for better organization. Since the hair color needs to be darker, open a hue saturation adjustment layer and decrease the saturation. Then mask the layer and, using a soft round brush with white, bring back the areas of the hair. Here's the result. Number 2. Upscaling Trick Here, we have an image of the sea with low resolution, and when zoomed in, it loses clarity. I'm going to show you a simple trick to easily enhance its sharpness. First, active the ruler and divide the image into four parts. Then, use the crop tool to crop one section and export it. Go to krea.ai and click on Enhancer. Upload the cropped image. In the upscaling section, choose 8 times. Delete the prompt section and click on Enhance with the default settings. Wait for the result. When it's done, click Download and save the image to your computer. Go back to the PSD file and hit Ctrl Z to undo. Place it in the file, and confirm to turn it into a smart object. Now adjust the size of the image, and confirm again. As you can see, the clarity of the image has greatly improved, and instead of pixelating, it has been regenerated. Follow the same steps for the remaining three parts of the image as well. Let's group the layers. If you look closely, the clarity has improved significantly compared to before. However, the seams between the images are noticeable and don't look good. Just create a new layer. Grab the Remove tool, and paint over it according to the shape of the waves. Then click OK. You can still go over any areas that look unnatural, and fill them again, then hit OK. Here's the before, and after. 
you can open a color balance layer to correct the colors as well. Number 3. Creating custom text styles. Type your desired text and scale it to your preferred size. Make sure the color contrasts with the background. You can also use the warp tool to bend it. Export the file. Open the website firefly.adobe.com and log in using your Google account. Scroll down a bit and select text to image. Click on one of the images to open the options. Clear the prompt and other settings. Choose your aspect ratio. For example, in the prompt, let's type golden balloon text with an isolated background. Click on photo and then try prompt. Choose one of the generated images, then click on use as style reference. Now this image is set as the style reference for your design. You can adjust the similarity by increasing or decreasing the strength and visual intensity. Next, upload your own image in the composition section. Set the strength to maximum. Now click generate. Pick one of the generated images and click on upscale. Click on download and then drop the image into your PSD file. You can use the remove tool to erase the Adobe logo and fill in the edges. If you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to the channel to stay updated on future videos.